grape. Boom. All right, just stopped in, got a coffee, and it's a little overcast here in Portland today, but it's not going to stop me from doing a little creeping. How the heck are you, crazy creeps? Today is going to be a fun one. We're just going to kind of creep around, take a look at some things around town. We're going to head down to Pioneer Square first. But first things first, I got to get some of this coffee in me. And I got the old trusty with me here as well, just in case. And uh, there's a new art gallery at Pioneer Square Mall. We're going to creep down there next. Stay tuned. It's definitely going to be a good one. But like I said, first things first, I got to get me some of this. liquid energy stay tuned all right guys just got here to downtown portland we're basically right here on the corner of uh what is it pioneer place on fifth and we're gonna go in here and check it out because they got a brand new gallery that features a ton of portland artwork and including mike bennett and woke face two of my favorites so let's go in here and check it out the whole front here is all bunch of artwork too but we're gonna go in here to Pioneer Square or Pioneer Place and check it out I'm excited a lot of good Portland artwork all right so we just made it here into basically the heart of downtown Portland we are inside the Pioneer Square Mall and we're here standing in front of Gallery Go Go which is a you know an art gallery here in Portland that uh, just started featuring a ton of local portlanders work so we're gonna go in here check out some photography check out some artwork and uh really just you know check out the whole spot so gallery go go uh we just got invited in so let's uh let's go in here and check it out i'm excited what drew me in were these photography uh photos and then as i made my way back i realized there was some other art so let's go in here and check it out again gallery go go Yeah, this place is incredible. Just a beautiful space, wow. And what this is, is basically a little pop-up um, of different artists, local artists. And this is just incredible. And the owner here has been showing me around, kind of just uh, giving me a rundown of all these different artists. But as you can see, a lot of this stuff is you know, really Portland-based, portland, portland influence um, pieces, artwork, not just cartoons. Um, but look at this, this is really pretty with all the bridges. And uh, the owner here was telling me about this uh, goth goddesses, which is so cool. And if you guys are like me, pretty much every single one of these girls were <laughs> ones that I had huge crushes on. Um, even to this day, um, but as you can see here, um, originally from Mexico, she was she is now in Portland. Bianca Plata, she uh, studied her fine art in Mexico City's San Carlos, but then brought her work here to Portland. And this one, well, this whole piece here rather is entitled "Goth Goddesses," and like I said, pretty much all my favorite, you know, goth women to this day. We've even got look at this. We've got Elvira. And uh, the Bride of Frankenstein, pretty much every single <laughs> Catwoman. I love it. Wednesday Adams. And I was telling the owner here about uh, Tarantula Ghoul, who was also, you know, really heavy in the kind of like B horror movie genre, goth genre, and a Portlander as well. So she might want to tell her about that artist, or that, you know, about her as well to the artist. You could add one to here, but. Very cool, and a lot of Portland, a lot of Portland artists. We had Mike Bennett's work, which I'll show you guys here in a second. Just got like a little, uh, one of his little road cones. And so you were telling me about uh, Fel what's her uh, Felicia Murray? Felicia Murray. Yeah. Very cool. So oh, look at that. Very places. cool. Dang, that is really neat looking, isn't, isn't it? Amazing? Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah, I like the the texture, kind of like three dimensional. Well, it really is three D. Yeah. Just nice. Like she uses materials. So cool. Yeah, that is really neat. I really like her different little creations here. It's cool. Look at this one's like almost like a little cactus. Mm -hmm. So you guys are gonna do. You guys are basically teaming up with the artists and doing kind of like in-house uh, creations and artwork. That is so cool. Yeah. So we, we got the. All sorts of things here. We're having a, a dance off. We have had a full fashion show and a hip hop concert. Wow. Just, yeah, tons of pop-ups. Nice. Kind of Very cool. I love the fact that you're supporting local artists too. To me, that's like the best. Not not to mention how cool the artwork actually is and stuff, but yeah. But uh, I think great. Portland needs more of, you know, venues that can not just focus on one artist, but when you come in, you have the opportunity to take a look at a ton of folks. Yeah, this is another artist over here. Okay. Oh my it's gosh, Ursula that is Barton. beautiful. What is her name? Ursula Barton. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Uh, she is, she started Jailbreak Collective, which is a collective of BIPOC women and LGBTQ plus artists. Nice. And so I work closely with them and they're kind of like a sister gallery and they give workshops here. Very cool. Yeah, I love her Portland backdrop there. Oh my and the beautiful, like, I believe those are like the cherry blossoms, but yeah. they really pop with that pink. And then the Mount Hood in the back there, and she's even got big pink. And uh, wow, look at these. There's like the smaller version here. Yeah. So you can pick up the actual canvas, or you can also get you a print. Got a lot of these prints. Look at this one's really cool. I love her color, coloring. We've got the convention center there, pretty much all the iconic, you know, Portland buildings. That is beautiful. Can I show you the, um... I would love it. <laughs> wow, I don't even know where to bring my eyes to. I mean, it's just incredible. Oh, you got woke face. Yeah. Wow, she's got her a whole whole thing set up here. Yeah, I love woke face. I'm so happy to have her work here. Oh my gosh, their artwork is so cool. And I love that it's, you know, kind of street art slash fine art now. Mm -hmm. And the artist has really done a great job about finding the fine line between, you know, I would say graffiti, but also respectful. So you never see their work, you know, on somebody's storefront, but you would see it on like a boarded up window at a storefront. So the idea of street art and art is to let it run and make it last without really upsetting anybody or being disrespectful as well. So I think the artist has found a great balance of um, you know, finding the work and finding places that it can, you know, be up without, you know, being disrespectful as well. And I've just got some, some beanies here too. Look at that, the woke face. Beanie. This is like a, um, I turned the mini galleries into, or these are mini galleries that used to be dressing rooms. Oh, okay. Um, and so. Sure is pretty, man, with the chandeliers. Wow, look at this, you guys. This is just. This is incredible. You take photos of yourself in here. This was made by Art of Powers, who makes music videos. Oh, very um, cool. What is the name of their? Art of Powers? Art of Powers. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, I'm so glad I stopped in. This is neat, man. <laughs> and this is Bunny Milkshake Concoctions behind you. Make... Bunny Milkshake Concoctions. <laughs> I love the name. And then, oh my gosh, look at this. And he uses all rescue materials. Wow. There's the artist right here. A little bit of a glare from the light, but that's okay. Gosh, this is so cool in here. This is great idea that you use this space for each artist's work. That's a great idea. Can I show you this is um, Love, Love Songs by Shana Lee Hampton. She wow. also works um, in street art. She These embroideries are often stapled to telephone poles. And wow, no kidding. Yeah, I love the physical actual art pieces that people like this. Like you yeah. said, this would be like stapled somewhere like on a pole or something like. Well, like especially these. Oh, very these cool. Stapled. Heart is my boyfriend yeah. now, nice. So I'm going to be making a telephone pole <laughs> He smells <here>. like soup. <laughs> this is great. And the opening for this Look is this. the last Saturday in February from 5 to 7. Oh my gosh, so this hasn't even opened yet? No, it hasn't Oh my opened. gosh, thank you so much for the sneak peek. This is so cool. 
And there we are. Hi guys. <laughs> Very neat. Yeah. Love songs by Shanna Lee Hampton. Mm -hmm. How nice of you to let me get a a sneak peek here. <laughs> I love her kind of humor as well. That's great. Yeah. What a nice way to really utilize these spaces in here. This is cool. Very cool. Mimi's Fresh Trees PDX. And it looks like they do gear as well. They've got some a clothing line as well. Nice. Oh, look at these fans. Those are neat, aren't they? Yeah, she turned the old, you know, dressing fitting areas into little artists. Their own little spaces here. That's cool. What do we got here? Some different sauces. Nukes all natural hot sauce made in Portland, Oregon. Nice. We got groovy green mild mango. <laughs> kind of mild. Very cool. Ooh, look at that bottle too. That is neat. That looks hot though. <laughs> Especially with those peppers, boy. They ain't messing around. That's cool though. What a great idea to have, you know, different artists and this is a kind of a new addition to the art scene here in Portland. This is the Vendaria. And what this is, is a vending machine. And these are placed all throughout Portland. And the artists will actually show, get these old vending machines. And then she basically puts all kinds of fun, different items. They're all over, scattered through all over Portland. Um, and depending upon where they're at, kind of is what she, you know, the work will be represented inside. But she takes these old vending machines and paints them and makes them all cool and then fills them full of, you know, different neat little little toys and buttons. As you can see here, we've got some of Mike Bennett's work in here too. The little red flocks, one of his little pins there. That is so cool. I love that he's doing these buttons too. And then you've also got these like little donuts you can buy. And they have mood rings. All kinds of cool little neat little things. It's so neat. The Vendaria. And I've been seeing more and more of her machines popping up all over Portland. So I love that she's combined, you know, other artists work as well into her art. So it's not just like a win for the one artist. It's like everybody wins because everybody's works featured. And that is just so cool to me. I love that idea. It's not like just one artist. It's a ton. You know, that's just so cool. Well, this is, this is from out of town. She actually, she um, produces these for, um, they're made, most of these are made handmade in the studio and they're for movies and TV. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, it's like a, they're like little fake. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they look so real though. I want to eat one. Oh, those were the donuts that were in the machine there. Yeah, and they were on the Muppets. Miss Piggy was eating. Oh my gosh, no kidding. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the little, the little creamers too. So that, so companies will buy her work so that they don't have to like go buy donuts. I mean, they yeah. can just use these for props. Right. Or if like movie props. Oh, look at the wine. I didn't even tell <laughs> my gosh, my mom would have a cow if she saw that on the <laughs> couch or something. Wow, look at look at that tea. I mean, these look these look like you could basically just dive right in. Hey, give me that spoon. No. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, wow. Look at this, you guys. It's like a little little yeah. chandelier of peaches and that's bunny milkshake concoction. So she makes these all from recycled materials. That's the same gal that did the, the reefs in there? Yeah. yeah. I love her name. That's such a great bunny milkshake. <laughs> that is rad. And this is by Kelly Martin. Uh, they made this design for um, for me and uh, Taylor of the Bender, yeah. So cool. Gosh, I bet she could wish she could find actually a bending machine with the big lips. Like she probably has one. <laughs> Yeah, that that's, would be amazing. That's so cool. That's a good collabo. So we got Mike Bennett's art here too. Check this out. She's got one of his little slow down road cones. He's been putting these little slow down signs all around town. You guys have been seeing them if you've been watching them. And also all throughout here, there's also a lot of photography as well. So it's not just, you know, street artists or painting. There's actually a lot of photography as well. Look, look at this one. This is beautiful. With all the fog kind of over big pink there. 
Big Pink is this uh, iconic bank tower here in Portland. Um, and as you can see, that's a classic Portland moment there with all the fog and stuff. Love it. The owner, she's so nice and has been showing me around this whole time and just uh, really been really cool. And I think that's what, you know, also really makes these galleries and these art places stand out, not just, you know, supplying the, the Portland work, but when you come into these these spots and the artists and the people that own it come up to you and talk to you and walk through and explain things to you i think that's what really makes the place special it's already very special because it's full of people's art and talented folks but it really takes that extra personable you know goodness from the owner coming up to you saying hello walking you around showing you the art very cool all right just checked out of uh, pioneer place thanks again to the folks there at gallery gogo -Go. that place was rad they got a lot of good art artists in there especially the portland artists and uh, just right across the street here is tiffany's and i noticed this after looking at all that art check this out they got this keith herring piece right here in the window i'm not sure if they're going to be doing some keith herring jewelry but i do love his work and it looks like that's an original piece too. That's so cool. Gotta love Keith Haring. If you guys don't know who Keith Haring is, look him up. You won't be disappointed. That's gonna do it for today. I really appreciate all the art that I saw today. I love all the Portland artists. You guys are awesome and amazing folks. Thanks again to everyone at the gallery today. It was really awesome meeting you. And if you did enjoy this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. You can ring that bell. That way, when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. And if you haven't, you can also subscribe. That'll dial you into being a creeper today. Just hit that red button down below. Until next time, creeper out for now. Peace.